Let us offer this Holy Mass to each and every one of us as a thanksgiving for all the graces that we have received. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. So, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menon, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetra, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and set them off. So they sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exalt because you rule the peoples in equity the nations and the earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O oh God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Oh, 
St. John. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him. For I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day. Because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. My dear friends in Christ, the Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. We all have inherited sin when we were born and it has been washed away in our baptism. Somehow, there are those who are still sinful and we know that we can help them to change as we pray for their conversion. We may have a personal experience about it. Or we may have known someone that converted from being a sinner. Stories about conversion can also be found in the Bible. The story of Ruth, the story of King David, the story of the prodigal son, and many, many more favorite stories in the Bible. But there is no greater story of conversion than that of St. Paul or Saul. He persecuted the church and tried to destroy it. He also apparently went as far as having the followers of Jesus put to death. However, Jesus did not judge him, and he had other plans for Paul to convert him, and it did happen. Paul went on to do great things for Jesus. And he has a huge part of the New Testament we have today. Every conversion story shows us a, a message of hope, even for those that led a simple life. Jesus said in the gospel that he did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. When one is truly saved, that person concerns more on what Jesus wants. Jesus is not judging us based on our sins. He wants us to convert 
and become his followers. He still has plans for us. So we can bring light and hope to others. All it takes is for us to respond to Jesus' call. Amen. We offer our name to the Father who always hears us. For the church, may God bring unity where it is needed and build bridges where there is division. Let us pray to the Lord. For our elected leaders and their advisors, may the wisdom and peace of Christ inspire them and legislating and leading their people justly. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick in mind, body, and spirit, may Christ, the healer, touch them to the hands and presence of a friend today. Let us pray to the Lord. For this local faith community, may God grant courage for its members to proclaim the word of God with love, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, mark with a sign of faith, may they be welcomed into eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. We pray also our frontliners, those who died in this pandemic, our brothers and sisters who are sick, those who have cancer, those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries today, most especially St. Willie Samson. Let us pray for them to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our personal intention. Father, you sent us the words of eternal life in your Son. Hear now our prayers, which we ask in his holy name. Amen. I am the bread of life. I am the hope in night. I am the door wide open. I am the shepherd's might. I am the truth and light. I am the way and light. I am who am and I am for you. Come and follow me. I am who am, and I am for you. Come and follow me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God's Almighty Father. For the praise and the glory of his name, for a good and the good of all his church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us. 
but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalt in your name. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down in the spirit upon them like the jupal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for taking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathering to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy and their parishioners. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As one family, with our humble hearts, all together, let us pray the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And you stay, quit all his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, quit all his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, Quit all his peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. My dear friends in Christ, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Since you are not yet ready to receive the uh, body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, but for the spiritual communion, you will receive Him and also His ravings. With your humble heart, just say, I am vaccinated with the precious blood of Jesus and no virus can touch me. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Mass ended, go, and let us pray for one another. Thanks be to God. Amen.